comes a new challenger. All right, the final video of the modern experiment, and this has been hugely fun, hugely fun session. Hugely fun indeed. I probably had the most. This is probably the most fun. Here. Basically, probably because I've been able to mostly get supers and everything out. Simply because I just love how modern isn't like so like optimal. It's it's there for the people who need it and can like you know it, it gives a it puts everyone on kind of equal footing, I guess. Regardless of skill level or physical level or anything like that, anyone can play Street Fighter 6 and have a good time with it. And it's mostly because of its scheme. And like I said, I'm not saying every fighting game needs to do it because not every fighting game can do it. Like Tekken, I don't think needs it. I mean, this game doesn't necessarily need it, but it was not. It's nice that it's there, nonetheless. You know. And they made it work. They made it work. It really works. It really works well. Oh fuck. Oh god. <laughs> a lot of damage. Oh. Darn it. You did the wrong thing there, buddy. You threw. That was the wrong thing to do. I like how he fade me out there. Oh, good jump. I don't think it would have reached anyway. Whoa, that's really fast. Beat down. Nice. Oh, good shit. Oh, wow. What the hell was I doing? <laughs> I didn't even know. Man, she's. Her normals are pretty good. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I mean, it's fair, I guess. Oh my god. Is she the only one, like, because her normals are so fucking good and quick, she's probably the only one that could probably counter off, uh, or immediately attack off the guy parry. Yeah! Yeah! Her low light is fucking insanely quick and good. It's weird. Got her. I think she has the best light and low in the game, aside from probably Kami. Uh. 
Yep. That is literally probably the best move for anyone in the game. It's wild. Nice. Oh, that probably should have comboed. Dude, that's so good. That was a bad idea. Man, her low light is mad good, dude. I wonder if they have changed, uh, changed the drive parry timing, though, because one thing I learned in the early days of the game was that um, drive parry, like, perfect timing didn't really feel as good because it didn't really lend itself to being like ad advantageous after a hit but with Aki it seems to actually work as intended Here comes a new challenger. oh wow I think this might be only the second DJ of the entire set <laughs> oh I haven't used Ryu in a while This will be interesting. It's got a China flag. It could be just on a China account, but I know some people do do that sometimes. They create accounts from other countries to access certain things. I never saw the appeal of that myself. I actually didn't get pushed pushed back for that drive impact. Maybe it was drive reversal. Nice. I was gonna say if they taken his stuff away, but I don't think they have, I just haven't actually used it. Pretty cool how there's guy in the background there. Oh, good move. Oh, no. Oh. Excuse me. Amazing how Bearded Ryu got so much popularity to the point where he's actually it's actually his default now. Got him. Waiting for the opening. Oh. GG. So it's fun to do supers like that. But that's the only thing Modern would really help me with. To be honest. And that's, all, that's the only way I use supers. I can't use them in combos or anything, so... It wouldn't really aid me that much. And like I said, I've got so much... I think I've, like, transitioned well to this session in the controls. I've actually got used to it, but I've got classic in my brain from playing Street Fighter 4 and 5 a lot. And it took me it took me long enough to learn how the inputs work in Street Fighter 4. It took me a long time to work out how to do super. And I was very proud to actually start getting the hang of it. Fun fact, I know this is probably very hard to believe, but I actually won my very first online match of original Street Fighter 4. 
the down fourth day. I have no idea what I was doing. No idea how the game worked. I won my first match. I know it's very hard to prove, but it actually happened. That's the thing, I came on the Street Fighter very, very late. Very late. I think Ultra Street Fighter 4 was like actually my first entry point of the game. Street Fighter 4, admittedly, had a lot to do with Dark Side Phil playing the game. It did. But I admit it. Oh, step back and boom! Uh, that was a that was a risk to be fair. I'll take it. But yeah, with Street Fighter 4, it had a lot to do with DSP playing the game. To be fair. Here comes a new challenger. Well, apart from a bit of seeing more Arkies. I think the variety of opponent actually hasn't been too bad. I think this is like my third time using JP at all. Oops. Oh, you, oh, I should have really punished that. No block. Oh, what the? I'll take it, I guess. Oh, it's a six game win streak versus a seven game win streak. Battle of the street. <laughs> I will never not be better about Undertaker losing the, under the underrated WrestleMania streak. I will never not be better about that. That's something that should always have stood. It, it just should. And to all people, Brock Lesnar, you know, I, I, I'd understand if it was like. I, I'd be mad. You know, I'd still be mad whoever it was, even if it was Cena, you know? I think a lot of people would have been mad if it was Cena, to be fair. I think that's why they never had him even, like, even considered for it. Because I think a lot of people at the time would have been really mad if it had been Cena. It's nice to see Cena being a lot more appreciated now, because at the time, he was always very squint. But now he seems to be... It's, it's got to the point where his pops are insane, it's like, oh, that's great. As a kind of scene of that myself, on a casual level. When it comes to WWE, I, I, I fell off. I think you've probably heard this before, but I kind of fell off. Pretty much after Rock and Cena the first time, right? And then they did that whole thing afterwards, I think. Was it, was it like the night after? And I think Rock comes out and talks about how he wants to be WWE Champion again. And I was like, you know what, I think I can call this whole year. That should really be able to do that. I think I can call this whole year without even watching it. He wins the title from Punk, maybe at Rumble was it? And then Cena won, what was it? Did Punk win the did um did Rob win the title from Punk? Cena then either won the Rumble or won something in February, and then the match the match was Rock Cena Part Two, which Cena won. I totally called it, and I haven't watched it since because I was like, that's just as anything, quite honestly. I I 
with WWE, I know it's a bit off topic, but I think with WWE, I prefer playing it to watching it these days. But yeah, I kind of fell off after that. Here comes a new challenger. But yeah, that, that Undertaker streak should have stood, man. I think Brock Lesnar is just such a strange pick. You know, like, I don't think anybody expected it to be him to, to break it, you know? Shit. I find it funny how Edge is now in AEU, I think, now. I think he. They did something with Edge on AEU last night, and the reason, the reason he left WWE the first time, or one of the first times I remember, is that he said he had like a real bad neck injury, but if he aggravated it any more, you know he was already on borrowed time when he initially had it, and um, and then he said during the retirement speech that time he said if I do it any more. I'm going to be at the point where I can't walk. And then he came back a few years later. Daniel Bryan did the same thing. They all like do these uh, heavy injury storylines. And then they come back again. I get that the hazards are real and everything. And I know it's sport entertainment and all that. I get that. I don't... You know, it's, it's certainly not... I'm not under the impression that it's fake. Or anything like that. But... <laughs> they could have at least made, you know, if they talk about heavy injuries that they can't come back from, and then they do, it's a bit, it's a bit weird, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's a bit weird. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. Daniel Bryan had the same thing. They had him like do a storyline where he had a heavy injury, and he had to be out for a while. I don't think, I think like they wrote that he had, wasn't even thinking of coming back because their injury was so bad. And then he's back. Well, I don't think he's back now, but, you know. The whole thing with Edge is just strange. I don't know why they wrote that for him. I mean, maybe the injury is real and maybe he's still got some time. And maybe that's why he's been... Well, I think he's, he's definitely been pushed less when he got back the first time, I think. I think he came back with the Rumble, didn't he? I, I sort of keep up with it. I don't... I don't keep up with it like I used to. And... Cena really had nothing to do with it. You know, because... I, so I stopped watching at a time when I knew what was going to happen. And Cena was, like, predominantly there. So I stopped watching it at a time when Cena was still like heavily competing, so he had not really much to do with it. It was just like I could have written this myself. Here comes a new challenger. Alright, I think it's a rematch. I think. JP again oh my god, we just had JP like two matches ago. <laughs> Random select is a lot to be desired, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, okay, so Fireball's actually stopped that move. It's not completely okay. I love jumping the coin. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Can you even, um, I'm sorry. I don't mean to spam. I was trying to find out how you do that teleport. Where he jumps in and jumps out the other, the other, um, one of these. You can do like two when he teleports. <laughs> Shit. Good luck. 
He killed, apparently he called it a game, uh, he called it a reversal. And he, I still got the block. This guy. Jumping to the corners. Actually, that's not the best idea. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I fucked up. <laughs> wow. Wow, maybe that's a way to counter the dragon punches then. Maybe. Wow. That was insane. Here comes a new challenger. Please tell me it's not another match with this guy. It is. All that time matchmaking is a third matchup with this guy. Well. Oh, I got Cammy. Good change. Oops. Fucking immediate cannon spike I didn't even mean to do. What's this guy doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, you can literally do that? That's wild. In the face. And dead. Right. Round two. Fight. One. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Oh god. Yep, that's gonna hit. It's like 80%, like 70% health. At the very least. And he won the match because of it. What the fuck? Dude, 80 fucking percent. That was wild. At least 70 to 75. 70 to 75 of one fucking suit? I blocked that. Oh no. I threw? What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Why is he beating me with light punches? Let's do that again. Oh shit! I fucked up. That's my bad. Well, I'm dead now because I'm gonna be spin. Oh shit! Oh no. Goodbye. <laughs> I thought I lost that. I fucked up on the level three, dude. That was my bad. I need to learn that. Here comes a new challenger. Ah, JP. <clears throat> well, this is a different player now. Zongi forget. Oh my god. I give up with random select at this point, dude. Random select is not it. It always rotates between like five characters in the game. Yeah, I always do it. All this guy's gonna need to do is like range with JP and he's one. Like an instant win. Dude, I did. That's what I did. What is with everyone jumping backwards? Fuck. Oh, wow. I beat him out of it. That's amazing. Normally, supers would beat it. I miss anything. I got a reversal and got a hit, sure. 
Espera. Yeah, he's probably doing it right to be fair. This is all you have to do against Zangi. Jump around and range. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, this guy's totally playing it right to be fair. You can't do nothing. You can't even like dash forward. Yeah, one JP, it's pretty much how I probably played him earlier, I think, to be fair, apart from the throws. There's a cat. <laughs> I said this to I said this to Tom later this morning, I said In Spider-Man 2, I want a mission where you rescue a dog. Because Spider-Man, like, and Spider-Man Mars Rise, uh, 2018, and Spider-Man Mars Rise had, like, cats and pigeons, but no dogs. Poison in the background there. I think it's her. Dude. Can't do anything, zombie. Against him. You just, you just can't. That's a good idea though, you can even like, do it that way though. Okay. But, yeah, I've got, I've got nothing on this guy. Oh, even mashing the, <laughs> I was mashing, I was mashing the throw. That sucked. Oh god. Ow. That was great. Mashing level three! Oh no! Why? Why did that happen? God damn it. That is that is wild. win I do <laughs> I'll take it I took the win somehow I don't even know how I did that that was really demoralizing to be fair <laughs> fucking level one beat level three fucking mash that shit <laughs> oh my god vintage JP zone player That's what this guy is I'm dead. I'm dead. He's gonna perfect me as well. Oh no. I avoided the perfect. Just about. Yeah, that's Vintage JP, Zongief matchup. I lose because. Yeah, that's all he has to do. <laughs> Here comes a new challenger! Alright, last match. I guess it's Naki, no surprise there. Someone actually wrote in the chat box that they hate the dual sense D-pad. I'm trying to remember if I even use it. I think I'm more on left stick. I think that was, I think to be fair. I think I think using a left stick was definitely, I've definitely found viable for inputs, I guess, even though I can't do supers in this game. I don't find the D-pad is easy to input moves. Or poison, 
Oh, it's so fucking good. Oh, that was lucky. That poison ball would have hit me. Oh, he still got the hit there. Good stuff. Got it, wow. Uh. Oh my god, it still hit me. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, that poison boy is so good. Flash kick to the face. Flash kick. Ah, <laughs> oh, what? God, I don't know what I'm just gonna know. Round two. Fight. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, that's right. Flash kick. What? I didn't throw. Oh, I didn't even chump. Oh, well. oh, oh, nice move. Okay. That's just gonna zone me out. Oh no! Level 3 didn't come out, why? That's bullshit. God. That sucked. Did level three. I don't know coming out, dude. Oh shit. Oh my god. Aki is another one that just has to run away. Her poison ball is so good. Level 2 could be moved, I think, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh 
my god. I didn't even want that. God damn it. Maybe he's not a good matchup for her, maybe. I don't know. I'm not good with him, so. You know. Can't really get in on her. Like. <laughs> wow, he'll be pissed. He'll be pissed. I didn't even think I'd duck under the throw. It actually worked! Amazing! Oh, good throw. Start. No punish. Oh shit! Okay. That's fair. I'll take it. Get over. Yeah! There we go. I think if you timed that like a second later, he probably would have got me with it. Oh, come on. Come on! Why is her normal so good? You're not getting in on this chick. Oh, that's good shit. You are not getting in on this chick. Like, you are not doing it. Charge characters are gonna be a fucking nightmare. They really are. Charge characters are gonna be a nightmare against her because she can just fucking poke the hell out of you. And you are not getting in on her at all. Now, yeah, charge characters are gonna be a nightmare, especially. Uh, ones in my hands, you know, because I'm not very good with charge characters to begin with. So, <laughs> there we go. Alright, well, that is it then for the modern experiment. And uh, I would still personally myself uh, use classic. I would. Um, because, of course, as we saw, um, there's a couple of characters there, Marissa and uh, Dalsim we found, there's probably more that have to have a move taken away to compensate for the modern control scheme. Um, the only thing it would really be advantageous over classic in my in my experience, in my kind of gameplay sense, would be supers. It's the only thing that make would be easier for me. But it wouldn't it's not gonna increase my win count. And that's like I've always said, modern is not going to increase your win count over classic players. It's not exponentially anyway. You might still win, but really I think I would probably broke even like I would do if I was using classic controls. So honestly, for me, I don't think there's any benefit aside from using supers. So I don't personally need to use them. But like I said, modern is a tool for those who struggle with inputs for whatever reason. And they do a good job of it. But it's not, like I said, it's not the optimal way to play the game. It's not going to overhaul classic control just to the point where everyone is going to use it. Because I don't think it's that good. And it's not meant to be that good. So Street Fighter actually, Capcom did a really good job of making it fair, but not overpowered. They did a really good job with that. Me personally, I'll be sticking to classic. Um, for, for myself personally, because even though yes I could do supers, I can't do supers in terms of like combos or I can only do it when like reading a move or an imp or a miss or a miss move or a miss input or a jump, you know. I can't really do anything else with them. So it wouldn't be any different. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, modern deserves its place in this game and it is like so much better for it because it provides a level of accessibility that has probably never been in a fighting game before. 
Street Fighter 6 really has made a new trend of making the game accessible but still giving those tournament level players a tournament way to play the game. You know, Mons, I don't think Mons going to win you a tournament. Personally, I, I could be wrong. I'm not from the tournament scene, so I don't even keep I don't even keep up with the tournaments in America, you know. Because at the end of the day, I'm I'm a casual fighting game player, you know, be all and end all, really. So I don't know if Mon would win you a tournament, and because I think moderns, what's the word? Uh, moderns use is to help those that struggle with inputs or anything like that or have a physical problem of any kind. Modern is there to even the playing field by not making it optimal. You know what I mean? Those people that have a problem with either inputs or a physical problem or have to use an adaptive controller for whatever reason, you know, that's there for them. And that's why I think it's in ranked matches because at the end of the day, it's not going to, it is there for the people that need it, but it's not going to overhaul Classic if you already use it, for example. And I, like I said, I've already used Classic so much already in this, in this game and games previous that I don't really, I, I don't really need it per se. You know, modern is there for those who need it. And it does a good job of leveling things out by not, and not, like making it optimum so it's it's such a great idea i i love it and i think it, it has worked to pretty much perfection because i don't believe in this opinion that people have that modern is broken and, and modern makes it so easy for people who are i hate to word i hate to use the whole people like scrubs or new players to the game or whatever you know people that aren't good or whatever you know it's, it's what they're saying it's not my opinion it's what i've seen uh, from opinion boards and such, well, I don't really pay attention to any of it, but I do have to see it sometimes because I, I guess it's there, you know, you can't really avoid it. Um, but I'm not under that impression. I don't think, I don't think it's, I really don't think it's the optimum way to play this game. I think it's just there to make things easier for those people that can't do inputs or for whatever reason. You know, and I think I think modern, because of the way you can override the controls to some degree and override the moves, I think modern can actually teach you how classic works. And it can be one of those things that you gradually progress to. It's like it's like a, a racing game. You know, it's like a racing game. You start off with all assists and you gradually get better as you as you play and as you get better it makes you better and it gives you the opportunity to then fully turn all the assists off like i had that with f1 2010 um i i think i for the longest time from like f197 to 2000 or like 2006 right probably had the most majority of assists on at the time right but by the time i got to 2010 and i actually got used to the game and used to the way it works, I started to realize that assists were slowing me down and I started to turn them off. I think modern can do that. I think modern can be a thing that teaches you how the game works and then can move over to, to classic gameplay. You can start to learn it and you can start to get the timings and everything. Modern can kind of be a good starting block for that. So it actually has two uses. It can teach you the way of the game in the first place, and if you have a if you have a, like a physical problem or you deal with like uh, struggle with inputs overall um, and can't really get out of it, like me for example, I'm always going to struggle with inputs. Um, but it it has two uses, but also like I said, doesn't overpower like the the scheme to the point where classic is overhauled. I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. I've fought more classic players in this game. Uh, Onion is just a minority. It really is. And I think it's worked to perfection. It has two uses, and people can go from either Bond to classic if they feel like they're starting to get better at the game, or if you can't do that for whatever reason, Modern is there for you to keep as long as you please. So I think Modern does its job. 
it, it doesn't break the game. It doesn't make things... It, it, it's not a guaranteed easy win. It's not. I don't believe that. I think Modern has earned its place in this game and it deserves to stay in this game for those people that don't play tournament level or have a problem physically to, to play the game. Street Fighter 6, like I said, is a game for everybody. It's an inclusive game and I fucking love it for that. I absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm waffling a bit, I'm sorry. Uh, went a bit overdue there, but... Yeah, Modern has a place in this game. But for me personally, I'm so used to the classic scheme that I'm going to stick with it. But it certainly was fun to kind of dabble into it for an extended period of time and kind of learn how it works. Uh, I think that was an interesting experiment. And I think Modern, like I said, is a success for those people that need it. Definitely. Alright guys, um, that's it for the Modern Experiment. That was definitely probably my job, most job set so far because of it. And uh, the situations that I, we, and the fights we had ourselves in. So, yeah, it's just another piece. Modern is another piece of an amazing game for the Street Fighter thing. Plain and simple. So, I don't know what will be next. I'll try and maybe get in the Cabby Madness or someone else in the meantime. I've got plenty of time before the next character, which I believe might be Ed or Akuma. I know it's one of them. I can't remember which one, um, but if I, if I do find some time, we'll jump into it again, and I'll do the next character I decide to do. Until then, guys, you guys know what to do. Follow, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Like the videos, and uh, I will see you next time for more Street Fighter 6, and of course, other stuff too. This month, we've got uh, Spider-Man 2 and Metal Gear Legacy Volume 1 coming out, so they'll be coming as well. Get subscribed and all that good stuff, and I will see you next time. I'm Sonic signing off. Stay safe, guys, and stay awesome. Peace out.